Okay guys, breaking par series. We're at Oakmont Country Club, not the Oakmont, but we're at a Oakmont Country Club, uh, playing the front nine. Hole number one, par four, 362 yards, handicap number 15. Let's see if we can start off with good par, maybe even squeeze out a birdie. Never saw it. Felt left. I pulled this one a little bit. We're in the left rough. This is Texas, so this is Bermuda rough, so it ain't much of anything. And it's going out right. Get left. All right, a little short right. Left myself in a good spot. This is what's called a good miss. I didn't want to mess with that tree, so I aimed a little right, thinking the wind might push it left. It did not, but fairly easy chip here. Definitely a chance to make it. Looks like it's uphill right to left, just like you like. I'm gonna put this one back in my stance a little bit. Choke down on my wedge. I got a 54 degree. Stance is a little open. Let's hit us a good one, see if we can't make it. Oh, that checked in the freaking fringe. Oh! Should be a fairly easy putt. Just got to get it there. It's up. a little bit right to left. First little tester right here on hole one. Got to make these if you want to shoot under par. Well, when you putting ourselves in a hole after the first one. That's not the way you want to start out your new series of breaking par with a bogey. Number two, par four. 352 yards. Handicap is number five for the men. Little dog leg to the right. Gonna aim right over this hill. The slight draw would be ideal. So this is a good one. Get a stroke back here. Again, back into the wind. That felt better. I still lost it. Pretty good drive. See what we got. Back pin, dead into the wind. 97 yards. Let's go get us a birdie. Let's get that bogey back. 97 yards. I'm going to hit my 54 degree. And I'm going to play it right about 105. It's not much of a wind. 105, I think, is my number. We hit one close. <laughs> Missed opportunity there. Stuck it close like I wanted, and that thing just duck hooked left right on me. So I just hit that lower lip. Got a par, but disappointing. Number three, 524 yard, par five, back into the wind still for 13th handicap. So this one's a little easy as far as par fives go, but a little dog leg to the right. Basically want to take it right over the hill on the right side would be ideal. Got 265 still to the hole, into the wind. My three wood's not going to get there. So I'm going to hit my little four driving iron. Get it down there right about 220, just short of the green. Nice little chip up. One putt for birdie, get the hell out of here. Hang on. Hold it. Well, I didn't hear any trees. I pulled that one a little bit, but hit it good. Um, just getting up to the ball here shortly, and it looks like I may have a decent shot. So we still got a chance at birdie. We're a little left, but we got a shot. Just so you know, on your typical course, if you hit these power lines, it's just a free drop. You just re replay the shot from the same spot. All right, I got 60 yards into the wind. Let's see if we can't get one close here. 
58 degree, 60 yards. Into the wind though, footing's a little weird. Should be okay. Came out a little left. Should be putting. Well guys, we uh, hit that one a little too good, I guess. I thought the wind would hit it more, it didn't. So we're actually off the back. Don't have a lot of room to work either. Not that short. Another stupid par putt from off the green. It's gonna quickly become breaking 40 series on nine. That downhill, looks like it's gonna break a little bit to my left from this side, but right to get on your side. <sighs> Try to control my emotions here. Give this one a good shot. This is a par putt. Way you concentrate on every shot. One over through three, not terrible. If par there is a good par save, considering. Uh, on to the next guys, number four, par three, 195 yards. We're going back downwind, little downhill, front pin location. Uh, handicap is number nine, so uh, pretty mild par three, 195, little little deep. So we'll actually laser it and see what the actual distance is here. Uh, but basically on this long of a par three, I'm just trying to get par and move on. Distance is 190, downhill, downwind. So I've got a seven iron. I'm probably going to have to hit this one pretty good to get it there. About 180 is about my max on the seven iron. But that should be perfect as long as I hit it good. Water short right, so just make sure if you're going to miss this right, be long enough. Right at it. It's hit us a pretty damn good shot here. Just past the hole. Pitch mark is right here. Right at the flag stick. Let's get that stroke back from number one. Gotta take advantage of these. If anything, I think it's gonna fall to the right. So we got one back, hit us a good little seven iron there, made the putt. That's what you got to do. You got to take advantage of them. But remember, 195, I was just looking to get my par and get out of there. Maybe take some tension off me and I hit a good shot. We'll take it. We're back to even par through four on the number five. Number one handicap on this course, 493 yard par four, but little dog leg to the right and it's back into the wind again. We got a bunker that I don't believe I can carry, especially into the wind, so we may play left, but it's pretty open right, so we'll get our par here, most likely, and get out of here. See if we can't aim right at that bunker with a little draw, land it right just left of the bunker would be ideal. Perfect. Right where we wanted it. 130, back into the wind. It's a back pin, so all the green that's available is in front. If anything, you want to be short, not long. I've got a pitching wedge, which is about a 140 club. It should be perfect. I don't think I can go long with this, unless I've just belayed it. I'm gonna aim just at that tower in the back. Maybe it'll draw just a little. No, we're putting. Didn't quite catch it perfect, but. Why you take that club that you know you can't go long with? Because now I'm short, but I'm on the green. So putting for birdie up the hill. Looks like it's a little bit left to right up the hill. Being up the hill, you can be a little aggressive. You definitely don't want to leave this one short. Looks like it's going to fall right just a little bit. So I'm going to aim about a cup outside the left. That was nice. We stole one there. 
on to a par five. Can we get three in a row? Number six, par five, 567 yards. Handicap is number 11. It's not drawn at all. A little bit right. I think it should be okay. Just didn't turn over. Lost this one a little bit right. It is uh, going to be way above my feet. I'm going to choke down on a three wood and just try and punch one down there. So it didn't cut like I wanted, but I think it'll be okay. Yep. Just down the left side of the fairway. Got 120 uphill. Wind's kind of behind us, a little left to right. So just a full sand wedge, 54 degree. Didn't quite catch that. That's going to be short. Yep, hit on the front of the green and spun back. Quite catch that one. I should, probably should have went up to the 50 degree and just swing a little smoother. But tried to muscle up, basically hit an absolute full sand wedge. Didn't quite catch it and hit it on the front of the green and spun off. So we it up and down for our ball. Guys, they got this as a yellow pin, which should be middle, but uh, this is definitely back. So I should have definitely hit the 50 degree so we're off the front edge of the green this one's in the back so we got us a pretty difficult little up and down here let's see if we can get it all right guys we're just short of the green um quite a bit of green to work with here so i'm going to hit 54 degree i'm going to carry it quite a bit about halfway to the hole it's going to hit check just a little and then release up that slope should break to my left man it checked hard and it kicked left hard all right, we got us a tester. Up the hill, looks like it's gonna go a little to my left. Turn! Oh, it started to go right. Did not see that. So that was a misread. Bad bogey, bad bogey. You always hate the bogey of par five, but bogey, we are back at even par through six. On to number seven, which is a par four, 405 yards. Handicap is number seven. Let's see if we can get one more birdie getting in. It's gonna be close. Can we break par? Three holes left. Need to birdie one of them to break par. Down the left side, drawing. Should be okay though. We're okay in the left rough, but again, this is Bermuda stuff. So this just sits right on top of it. It's no problem at all. 110 downwind front pin. So if anything, you don't want to be short. You want to be a little long. A little thin, sit softly. I think it's off the back of the green. What the hell? Bad miss. Cannot afford to do that. You get 100 yards virtually, and you blade it basically over the back of the green. Now you got a tough up and down for par. Let's go get it. Should go just a bit right. A couple things went wrong there. It did not check, and it did not break. So. Not looking good at this point. We can make a putt though. We've got a tester, a very big tester. Hit us a good putt, just didn't go in. Oh. Downwind, uphill, number eight, par three. It says 173, it's playing like 176-ish. Got eight iron which may end up being too much. I'm aiming right at that tree, just right at the flag, a little draw, be nice. Darn! Sit down. Uh, had the right stick, we're pretty much pin high, but it didn't turn over, so just right at the green. If we chip this one in, we may have a chance, so let's try. Sit, 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 sit. God, it's just not checking. Another little tester for par. This far apart. Well, shit. 
a bad taste in my mouth after that one. 433 yards, number three handicap. We'll see if we can birdie, finish on a good note. Doesn't look like we're breaking par this go round. Number nine, we're not feeling too good after three straight bogeys. We were one under, now we're two over. Hang on. Never saw it. Right off the fucking toe. We are left. And we got to go low onto this branch between these trees. And run it up there. I got a four iron. I'm just going to hit just a punch shot out of here. Choke down. Try and keep it low. And drawing. I think it got into that bunker. It just slipped in the bunker. This is a pretty long bunker shot, so I've got my 54 degree. Usually I hit my 58 degree on these green side, but this is probably 20, 30 yards. So put a little bit farther back in my stance, not open it up so much. Go! God, just checked so hard. This is the shoot two over. Not great. Would be a nice sand save though. Up the hill, left to right. Get there. Hit the ball. Golly, that's a terrible way to end. Four straight bogeys. <laughs> Guys, that was not how we're supposed to end that. We were one under through five. End up three over with four straight bogeys. Maybe next time, Breaking Par series continues very soon.